In this lesson, we'll look at viewing the model in 3D. So everything you design in Revit, for the most part, is a three-dimensional object. Therefore, it could be rotated, zoomed, spun around. We can look at the different sides, the right, the left, the top, the bottom, the front, or the back. Now, what you have on your screen right now is just a section cut of the actual model. To view the 3D elements, you can look at existing three-dimensional views, or we can look at the default three-dimensional view. To look at existing 3D views that may exist in a Revit project, look in the project browser in the lower left. Expand views, and depending on how your browser is sorted, you may see a grouping for 3D views. To look at the sort order for the browser, right-click on views, click browser organization, and verify that type and discipline are selected, and then click OK. Now you should have a section called 3D views. If you expand that, there's two subsections, one for electrical and one for mechanical. If you expand mechanical, you'll see three-dimensional views already created and saved for the mechanical elements. So for example, if I double-click on the 3D duct and equipment, that will show me a three-dimensional view of all the elements within the building, no crop or no clip, in 3D. If I look at room 53 3D fire protection, this will show me a crop view of just room 53, with various elements visible and various elements not visible. Likewise for all of the other elements listed here in the 3D view. Now, you can also look at the overall general three-dimensional view. And to do that, you can double-click on 3D underneath mechanical. That will show me the three-dimensional view by default. Or, above your ribbon, you could go to the little house, and the little house is the default 3D view. So in either of those last two methods, you can get to this default 3D view. Now, keep in mind for this example here, depending on how much RAM you have in your computer and your graphics card, this view may be a little slow. So you may want to use a smaller model for this example. But looking at this now, you can zoom in, you can zoom out by rolling the mouse wheel, that is. Holding the wheel will allow you pan back and forth. Or you could use the view cube on the right. The view cube that's visible allows you to do several things. One is you can simply click on a surface, an edge, or a corner, and it will rotate the view cube and the model accordingly. So if I click on a corner, it will show me an isometric view of that model. If you click on a face, it will show me that view orientation, for example, front. In this orientation, if you click on one of the arrows to the right or the left, top or the bottom, it'll rotate that cube and also the model. 90 degrees. To get back to a default three-dimensional orientation, above the view cube to the left is a house. Click on it, it's the home button. It'll take you back to the default home view. Now there's also a ring represented by the locations north, south, east, and west. If you hold your left mouse button down on it, you can actually rotate this on a pivot and it would rotate the model. Or again, you can freely just move your mouse about the screen roll the wheel mouse up and down, or to rotate, hold the shift key or the control key to zoom in and out. So there's a variety of different ways. Also, if you're a three-dimensional mouse user or you have a 3D mouse, you can use that to rotate the model, to zoom in, to zoom out, depending on the 3D mouse and the settings that you have. And then to get back to that default three-dimensional view, I can just hit the house button or home button, and that takes me back to the default 3D view. So as a review, in this lesson, we covered viewing the model, but looking at it in 3D.